I've been making inconsequential changes to my development workflow for many years now, so I wanted to show some of them that are slightly less inconsequential, slightly more consequential. So just going down the list, actually starting with the browser, I'm using Firefox. I removed the, uh, I'm on a Mac. I removed the little headlights just for some extra room and just because I thought it would be harder for other people to use and that's kind of funny. Same with uh, no plus button, no close button, uh, no none of that. That's uh, that's all nonsense. None of my bookmarks are here. It's minimal. It's clean. Also, if my laptop gets stolen, uh, good luck finding my bank information. Good luck opening a new tab. Um, so going down the extension list, I've got Dark Reader. This is a classic. Uh, this turns certain sites dark. Uh, so if I go to uh, Google, using DuckDuckGo by default, but you can see I've got a shortcut. I can toggle light and dark. This is nice if I'm in a dark room sometimes, and I just uh, I don't want to get blinded. Um, I still don't care about cookies. This is very nice. Just uh, hides the cookie pop up. That's all there is to it. Uh, it's kind of annoying. Saves you some time sometimes. Uh, decentralize. That's an extension that um, some privacy advocate person recommended to me. Um, get it if you want, but honestly, I kind of like big companies to have my data because um, how else are they going to make money? Yeah. Um, Keep SXC browser, that's just my password manager. It's a great password manager. It's free, open source, looks terrible. Um, let me see if I can find like a github.com slash login. Hopefully this will show me. Dang it, it just logged me in. Um, what about like yahoo.com? I definitely don't have an account there. How do I sign in? Sign in. Yeah, see this little thing? Terrible. Terrible looking extension, but it's a good password manager. uBlock Origin, best ad blocker. This one's classic. Most people probably know about it. If they don't, um, just get it. it makes the web experience unfathomably better and then the last one and this is the banger this makes the whole video vimium c this um this lets you do so so much the first thing is it lets you click on links with your keyboard by hitting f you can see little signs pop up so if i wanted to click on images i hit a t and it clicks on images it's not all that faster than using your mouse but it looks really cool that's the main attraction. The faster things are you can hit capital G to go to the very bottom of the page, GG to go to the top of the page. If you want to type in a search bar, you can hit GI and you'll jump to the search bar. That's quite fast. You can hit R to reload. You can hit T for a new tab, X to close the tab. Let's see, what else is really awesome about it? Uh, slash to search. Um, so if I search test, and then N to go to the next occurrence, P to go to the previous one, and then I can click on it. Use D and U to scroll, F and, or J and K to scroll a smaller amount. And to go forward and back in history, you can use H and L. So that's faster than command or control arrow. That's what's super buttery. Um, so if I pull up something, Oh, actually, I think you can see the keyboard shortcuts with question mark. Yeah. What else is awesome? Oh, YY copies the current URL to your clipboard. You can paste it. That one's super useful. Sometimes I have to dab. <laughs> <coughs> Coffee it <laughs> again. Sorry. Sometimes I want to copy a tab and change something in one version of it. You can hit YT. That copies the same exact tab, same data. You can actually prefix it with a number. So I've hit 3YT. That'll open three copies of the tab. That's pretty cool. Mm, what else? Hmm. I mean, there's a couple other things. There's B to open your bookmarks. Um, maybe I have GitHub. Nope, I have the types to documentation. The types repository bookmarked. Capital H to go back. Yeah. Um, that's pretty much it for browser extensions, buttery ones. The last one, the butteriest by far. Um, and if you want to know how I removed the, uh, 
the headlights from Firefox, that's on my GitHub in my dot .files. And if you don't know what that means, it, you might be cooked.